Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Another classic Silverhawks villain in the spotlight today, and it's the malicious Mumbo Jumbo. You know, I can't help but feel that the designers must have been having a grand old time back in the day when it came to naming these characters. You know, it's like, yeah, what should we call this guy? Uh, oh, well, you know, let's just go with some Mumbo Jumbo. Okay, so Mumbo Jumbo is like this really buff looking humanoid bull like a minotaur actually you know and you know what he would look great as a masters of the universe character come to think of it now the color scheme is all primarily red uh, brown and orange yeah and over in the back here um there's that slot there again okay that same slot that all of these characters come with okay just what the hell is supposed to go in there i mean were the bad guys supposed to come with removable wings like all the silver hawks did Checking out his articulation, uh, you can't move his head uh, because of the action feature that's there, but uh, his horns are posable, okay? Um, that's pretty interesting. I guess you could get them in some you know, pretty cool attack positions. And uh, both of his shoulders move as well. And uh, he's articulated at the hips and the knees as well, all right? Yeah, you can bend him at the knees like that. But he's kind of like in a hunched position anyway, so yeah. You know, but you could have him sort of like seated in a cockpit of some kind, you know, if you wanted to. Yeah. The articulated knees do allow for a little bit more dynamic posing. You could have him sort of like looking like he's about to break into a sprint, okay? <laughs> like so. Also, since he is a bull of sorts, you know, you could kind of have him on all fours uh, in actual sort of like beast mode. That's right, okay? That's right, okay? Beast mode, okay? About to charge straight for the enemy. Mambo Jumbo comes with a somewhat large looking weapon bird called Ashok. Now, I do like the fact that this bird is pretty big. Um, you know, he's got some pretty nice detailing like these two turbines on his wings here. But, uh, you know, the weapon birds don't really come with anything really great in terms of their features. Um, yeah, this one is supposed to like just sort of like uh, open and close his wings when you push his head in. Uh, yeah, you know, just basically just spread his wings and close them. And uh, I guess maybe he's sort of like creating air turbulence of some kind, like a disturbance in the air, aerial disturbance, you know, because of his name, Air Shock. You know, what do you guys think? To activate the action feature, what you gotta do is squeeze his legs together and his head pops up, you know? Yeah, it's like head ramming action. And then just repeatedly squeeze his legs and you get this sort of like a head butting action. Like he's like, you know, yeah, re really goring into his victims, okay? Yeah, getting those horns all the way in there, you know? Well, he is a bull character. I mean, what else is he supposed to do, right? You know, other than have like a head butting or head ramming action feature. Now to reset the action feature, all you gotta do is just push the head back in until you click and you're ready to go again, okay? And you can just repeat the process over and over, you know? It does offer some satisfactory play value for maybe five minutes. To really have some fun, get him to mix it up with a few of the silver hawks and just take them down. Yeah, that's right, you know, just ram straight into them. Pow! <laughs> yeah, once the enemy is down, he can get to work on just, you know, goring them. You know, goring them to death, you know. <laughs> Looks like there's bird on the menu tonight. <laughs> Placing him against a few of the other larger Silverhawks villains, you can see that Mambo Jumbo does size up pretty well. But of course, the tallest of them is still the evil monster. Okay guys, so that's my look at the classic Kenner Silverhawks Mambo Jumbo figure. Let me know what you thought of the video. And of course, if you enjoyed the content, I do hope for your support in subscribing to the channel and checking out all of my older videos as well. You know, give those old videos some life once again. And uh, do share the videos out, okay, to anyone you know who might enjoy the content. I need your support to take this channel to its next milestone of 3,000 subscribers. Thank you.